Hey, stick around. I'm going to show you how to make 2D particle effects. Hey everyone, my name is Artindi, and this is a Godot tutorial on 2D particle effects. It's really not that hard. It's mostly just about knowing where to click, so I'm going to show you how. Go ahead and add a Particles 2D node to the scene. Once you have your node where you want it, uh, you may need to move it around, then you'll notice that there are, there's a little warning next to it. You can ignore that, but if you want to know what it is, then go ahead and read it. It's just letting you know that there's nothing showing because we don't have a material set to be shown. So here's where it gets a little tricky. We need to set that material. Click on Process Material, not Material. As long as you click on the right one, the tricky part is over. Now the process material is going to give you two options. For the simplicity of this tutorial, go ahead and pick the second option, New Particles Material. Click on the same part where we just made the New Particles Material, and a large drop-down menu will appear. This is the fun part. You can see there are tons of options for all sorts of cool things. It mostly just takes some practice and trial and error to best learn how each works and how they can work together to make something cool. Now I'll create a particle effect live so you can kind of see what I mean. This next part will be unscripted, but don't worry, I'll edit out any boring parts. So if there's... Okay, so I find it easier to show how to make a particle effect if I have something that I'm aiming to make. So here's a portal. Um, it has... it's completely original. It's not based on anything. And we're just going to make a particle effect to kind of make the portal feel a little bit more alive. That'll, that'll kind of fit with this. Clicking on the portal and I'm going to add a particle 2D node to that. And then we're going to process material, not material. And we're going to add a new particles material. First thing I'm going to do is, I don't think gravity is going to affect this particle, so I'm going to get rid of the gravity because it just makes sense. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is change the emission shape to a box. And I'm going to try to make that as large as the portal. Okay, it took some trial and error, but I got 6 by 12, and that seems to... And that's only one edge, it's not the total. 6 by 12 seems to take it up appropriately. Okay, I'm going to increase the number of particles to 30, just for now. We might mess around with that later. The next thing I'm going to do is, uh, like, the white is kind of annoying. So I'm going to go down to color. I'm going to change that to purple. Okay, I'm going to go with that color for the initial color. I'm going to cl click, on, click on this guy, add new gradient texture. Click on this and click on this new gradient click on that you got a lot of do a lot of clicking just to get in everything but you find it after a while okay this was supposed to be my purple color let's get that let's get that back to that purple okay and then this one we're gonna have it be a different purple color let's do like a let's do a darker purple color and let's change the opacity okay so at the beginning of the lifetime it's gonna start out as a dark purple and it's slowly gonna fade to a um, lighter or darker purple but turn invisible as well actually I'm going to change that to a lighter purple it seems to make more sense if we do that okay next thing I'm going to do is change this the angle I'm just going to wing that all the way over there and turn this all the way up so that the, this angle will means it will be at that well angle from the original state and then the random will put it anywhere between 0 to 270 so when you, you get in different shapes there next thing I'm going to do is add a orbital velocity of 2 0 0.2, orbital velocity of 0 0.2. I'm going to make it random so they kind of change a little bit. Okay, I'm going to change the spread to 180. That means if I give it a velocity, it will travel in every direction rather than just to the left. Let's slow that down a little bit. Let's increase this to 50. Okay, now I'm going to change the scale to 0.5, make them a little bit smaller. I'm going to increase the lifespan to 5 seconds. That way it has a little bit more of a drifting feel. In fact, let's make that 8 seconds. Okay, and I'm actually going to add a curve to the scale. So it's going to start out at full size, and then it's going to shrink to half size as the lifespan continues. And there we have it. Now, if you want, you can import your own sprites into the texture field of the Particles 2D node and it will render that sprite instead of the random square. And I'm sure you can see the possibilities with that. But I may save that for another tutorial for another day. Not that there is much more to it, because as far as the basics go...
hey, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then you know what to do. I finally got a new microphone, so the quality of my videos is, you know, continually increasing. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, go ahead and leave those down below, or you can shoot me an email. I, I love feedback. Have a good one. Well, first of all, I have a... I'm, I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs>